Uh, me and my fiance have met in person, but we communicate through translation apps. Man, those translation apps are getting good nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, on our phone or computer, she speaks Chinese but no English. Well, we have trouble getting approved for fiance visa. Okay, well, technically, there's no requirement that you speak the same language, um, but the reality is the adjudicator is looking to determine or be convinced that you have a legitimate relationship. And so, you know, we all heard the old cliche that communication is the most important thing in a marriage, and, and I call it a cliche, but uh, my experience is, of course, that is true. So, and, and we all generally recognize that. So, you're going to have a little bit of an uphill um, fight here if, you, um, if your fiancé speaks no English and you, I assume, speak no Chinese, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little tougher. Does that automatically disqualify you? No. Again, it goes back to what we always say. They're going to look at the totality of the situation, um, you know, your evidence, all of your evidence. So it's not an automatic disqualifier, but it is, I would call it a red flag because, uh, you know, gee, you know, if, if, you know, how are you going to convince a person that you have this, uh, this deep uh, legitimate relationship when you don't even speak the same language? Uh, again, the translation tools have gotten a lot better, but uh, but still, you're going to have a little bit of an uphill battle is, is what I would say. Can it be done? Absolutely. Has it been done? Absolutely. But you need to make sure the rest of your case is airtight, and you need to be ready to explain to the uh, interviewer how it is that you are conducting this relationship when you can't speak the same language. Mm -hmm. I know when I went to the interview with my wife, um, that's one of the first things they asked is uh, how we communicate, how often we communicate, uh, you know, and, and what forms of media we use to communicate. And so that's one of the first things they ask in the interview.